Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I just want to talk to you about my latest uh, project with the MSP430 Launchpad. Um, what you're seeing right now is an LCD screen uh, that's displaying the local temperature. That's what that L stands for. Um, R stands for remote. Um, that field is going to show us the, the temperature that the remote unit is measuring. It's saying 10 right now, but that's irrelevant because I haven't plugged in the remote unit yet. It's not powered up yet. And then below it, you're seeing time. Um, it's saying it's midnight right now, and obviously it's not. It's it's still pretty bright outside. In fact, it's a little past two. Um, so right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect my computer to this to this uh, setup so that I can set the time. And how do I do that? I do that by through Bluetooth. The red LED you're seeing actually is a Bluetooth module. It's upside down. Um, but um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the Bluetooth module from my computer. It's already paired, and it's ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, connect. All right, so now I'm connected to it. Uh, hitting this button, you'll see I'll hit it, and it'll go into the adjust time mode. That means it's expecting me to uh, tell it what time it is. So uh, for my computer, I will send it four ASCII codes, four ASCII characters. I'm sorry, to tell it what time it is. There you go. Uh, and as soon as I hit send, it will appear on the screen. Yep, there it is. Um, so there you go. The time is set. It's showing the temperature. It's still saying 10. As I said earlier, it's because it's not connected to the remote unit. It's it's only connected to my computer, so it's not receiving any temperature data. Um, at this point, I've sent it what time it is, so I can just disconnect my computer because... Um, because uh, the launchpad keeps track of time itself it's by using its timers which are driven by the the watch crystal you can see right there um, so that's the main unit as you can see um, and then the other part of the the um, device the system is the remote unit which is sitting right next to it they're not connected with a wire um, it's wireless but I guess because they're next to each other, it kind of spoils the purpose of wireless communication. But um, so yeah, that's also that's also a Bluetooth module. That's the Bluetooth module of the remote unit, which which is this guy called this guy, the remote unit. Um, so I'll go ahead and power this up so that you can see how it transmits temperature to the main unit. I just have a nine volt battery here that I'm going to plug into it. It's got a voltage regulator to power up the uh, the launch pad. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I think I got it. Yep. All right. So it's light. It's 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 lighting up, and there you go. The red means when the red goes on, it goes off. It means it's it's sending data. And I'm coming back over here, and you can see uh, R is not 10 degrees anymore. It's 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 21, 22. It's about the same as local. Um, so what's going on is this guy every second sends uh, temperature information over Bluetooth. Uh, through this Bluetooth antenna, which is the master Bluetooth antenna in this in this uh, network, to the to the slave Bluetooth antenna right there, and as you can see, I can view um, view time and temperatures of the both units. One other feature that this has is a I can use it as a voltmeter. I just kind of try to make this as a demo project. I just put in uh, try to squeeze in uh, pretty much everything I knew about the launch pad into just one project. So might be uh, useless and purposeless, but you know. So pressing this button now will. Um, there you go. Now it's in uh, voltmeter mode. So actually, uh, this guy right here is supposed to be. There's the alligator clip. I'm sorry. I should have set this up earlier. There it goes. All right. Um, and then this is the ground probe. There it is. Okay, so this voltmeter now can measure up to 9.12 volts. Um, though of course, 9.12 volts doesn't directly go into the launch pad. Um, through the trim pots, the voltage dividers, the voltage gets divided, obviously, and um, so the launch pad really calculates the the voltage um, that it's supposed to be measuring. Um, it's pretty accurate. Um, so there it is. I'll just I'll just show you on this 3.3 volt regulator. Uh, so we're it's 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 going to be around 3.4 because that's the voltage it p puts out. But 
I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in there. I don't need to use the ground probe in this case because the ground of the voltage regulator is already connected to the ground of the system. So I'll just go ahead and connect it right here. And uh, yeah, you can see right there, that's the uh, the voltage reading. We're getting a, a, a pretty good voltage reading right there. Um, I can try to try to find the positive side of the battery. There it is. And connect it here. Right here, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, it's now connected to the 9 volt battery, and over here you can see the reading of the 9 volt battery. So it's about 8.65 volts. Um, thank you for watching my video. I I hope you liked it. Um, I'll try to share my circuit schematics um, along with the video. Um, thanks again.